Once you have your dates table set up in Power BI, you can do some really great date-based analysis. In this video, I'll show you how to do a rolling 12-month calculation. We'll implement it as a measure, and it'll be a rolling net sales calculation driven off our sales invoices table. We've got two tables in our model that we're concerned about. One is our sales invoices table, and the other is our dates table. Now, to do a calculation like this, what we need to do is modify the filter context of the dates table. and we need to define an upper bound and lower bound of our date range. The upper bound is simply the maximum date selected within the filter context, and the lower bound will be 12 months before that. And the easy way to think about this is to create that date range. We take the upper bound and we exclude any dates that are, are above that, and we take our lower bound and we exclude any dates that are before that. So to, to define our upper bound, all we need to do is to capture the maximum date within our current filter context. So we can, we can do that via a variable. Now we need to modify the filter context of our dates table. And to do that, we must use the function calculate. The expression that we want to evaluate is the sum of the net sales amount. And for the filter conditions, we'll use the function filter. And we'll use this to define our upper bound and lower bound of our date table. The very first thing we need to do is ignore the filter context. So we use all. So we've defined our table as all dates. In other words, let's take the dates table and ignore any filter context. So we're looking at everything. So this ignores any slices or anything that you might have on the page. And now we'll create our new filter expression. And so because there are two conditions, we've only got one line for the filter expression. We'll use the and function. And we'll say uh, the date must be less than or equal to the max date. In other words, we're excluding anything that is above the max date. And likewise, we want to exclude anything that is below 12 months before this. So if we say, if we add 12 months to the date, so if we add 12 months to the date, or one year, and if that is greater than the max date, if we include all of those, then we're excluding everything that is more than a year ago. Sounds a little bit convoluted, but think about it and you'll see that it's correct. And we close the AND function, we close the filter function, we close the calculate function, and that's our rolling 12 months net sales measure. And let's take a look at it. The easy way is perhaps through a line chart. And we'll define our axis as the date. And we'll define a filter context for this. And we're going to say the date is in the previous year, although it could be any selection we want within our date table. Give it a relative date of, say, in the last one year. So we now have a filter context for this visual, which is the date range of the 6th of May 2019 to the upper bound, which is the 5th of May 2020. And we drop our net sales measure into the visual. And that gives us our chart. We can add a trend line if you want. What this has done is for every single date over the previous year is calculated the rolling sales over the previous 12 months. So in fact, if you go right back to the very beginning to the 6th of May 2019, it's calculated the rolling sales for the 12 months up to the 5th of May uh, 2019. 